Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. I haven't posted anything on Kingdom Hearts for the past two days. Uh, the first day, my family came over, my dad came over, my mom. We had a barbecue, but most importantly that he came by to help me out to fix my backyard. He helped me uh, clear, basically my interlock was shit. I had grass coming out of everywhere, there was like bugs and just, it wasn't healthy. So I got some help with him to tear it all down, clean it all up, and then he helped me organize the garage. In preparation for my baby girl that's coming in, oh man, I believe, guys, I'm excited. I'm so excited to have a kid, you don't understand. Um, August 11th is the date today, uh, because it's past 12 o'clock now, so that means she's here in six days, guys. She's here in six days if we go by what the doctor says. So August 17th is when I'm supposed to have my baby girl. Um, so yeah, my dad came by two days ago, helped me out with everything. So did my mom and my little sister. Um, they were helping me just basically get all the last touches ready, making sure that I didn't have any hard work to do as I, as I went through everything. And then today, which technically yesterday because it's past 12 o'clock, Anthony is moving and Anthony... Had me working, I think, 10 hours a day. I was from 12 p.m. all the way until 10 p.m. Moving everything out of his house, his fiance's house. Uh, well, not his house, technically, but uh, his fiance's house and their parents. I helped them move their entire house. And they had a lot of stuff, guys. A lot of stuff. So I'm sore. I'm aching. And I feel like crap. But I've been missing out on so much for the past two days. I want to talk to you guys about... And everything if you guys come here just to see what's going on you're gonna have to skip up a skip ahead in the video because to me making these videos is not just to become popular or something I actually want to take my time and talk to you guys you guys are part of my life so I like to give you the update of what's going on before I jump into everything so that's what's been, what's been going on that's what's been happening I've been hanging around family helping Anthony and now I got time to sit down relax and talk to you guys. So what do I want to talk about today is three things. I did write it down. I'm organized today, guys. I'm organized. Uh, we want to talk about the basically the World Final Fantasy banner. Not banner. The metal got updated. I want to talk about the possibility of Tsum Tsum and how I think that we shouldn't be hoping for it. And the current poll at the moment. What I really do recommend. Especially since a lot of us are free to play. Or um, we buy VIP once in a while, like right now for Key R10. I would have bought Key R10, but I just told you guys, baby girl coming on the way. So I got to be very careful where my money goes. It's very important. And also, I'm unaware of where I'm standing right now in my current workplace. So, let's talk about, off the bat, this World of Final Fantasy. Oh, man. I keep screwing this up. Focus. Let's talk about Wisdom Form Sora, HD Wisdom Form Sora and this EX banner. Now, I absolutely love Mercy Pull banners or banners that are guaranteed the medal every pull. They are absolutely incredible, especially when the medal is game changing, like Key Art. Key Art, Sky, Beginning, and Bond, I 100% went for that, both accounts, and I hope you guys did too, because those were game changing medals. I don't care what other YouTubers were talking about, I don't care if they were skeptical, it was me. This is what I felt. This is what I really, really, really wanted to give everyone, and I went for it. Now, the same thing goes here for HD Wisdom Form Sora. A lot of people like Coliseum. We don't like Coliseum because it's a grind, but we enjoy the competition. We enjoy feeling that we're strong, and being able to climb the tiers in Coliseum and being top 10,000, and then hitting top 5,000, then 2,500, and then going top 1,000, the feeling of increasing power is incredible, and that's usually how these games get you to spend money. Now, in situations where we're guaranteed a medal that's going to help us in Coliseum, and anything that helps you in Coliseum will help you in Story Quest, uh, Proud Mode, uh, Proud Plus, and most of the events that will show up. So this medal is basically anywhere. You can put this medal anywhere and it'll do great. Besides, uh, Obviously, it's not the best metal for raiding because raiding, general defense down barely does anything for you, if anything. So raiding, you guys can kind of skip out on using general defense down medals, but HD Wisdom Form Sora is incredible everywhere else. And this is why I recommend this pull to everybody. If you do not have a Maleficent Dragon, if you do not have an HD Ventus, 
I hope I got that right. If you do not have any form of two tiers down for one turn, which is currently only those three medals, I would highly, highly recommend it. Your magic setup can be shit. You're, you can have all power and speed medals. The point of pulling this medal is for its skill. Lowers the enemy's general defense down by two tiers for the one turn, and that's all you need. Especially if you have a nominee or key art sky beginnings or bonds. If you can copy that effect and have 0.2 Kairi, three slots, five tiers of general defense down, a lot of quests are going to be fully capable of completing, and you will rank high in, t in Coliseum. Now, I'm not saying it's going to make your setup top 1000 but it will make a majority of you guys top 1000 and a lot of you guys to stick in top 10,000 now that's right now because a lot of us aren't sure what we're doing with our game or where we're going but I guarantee this meta will not let you down regardless of what comes out now I've explained to you why this metal is so good but a lot of people are worrying about future banners and if we keep doing this to ourselves where we keep looking ahead of what's gonna happen what's there the game's always going to look like the newest banner is bad. When we get a banner as good as this, a Mercy Pull 5, and you have a chance at an EX medal, EX medal, who cares? Guys, who cares? You've seen everybody's pulls. You've seen my pulls. You've seen Anthony's pulls on EX Cloud. Everybody has to spend a chunk of jewels or a chunk of money in order to get an EX medal. Now, recently, EX Soar has been fairly nice to a lot of players, but you gotta remember, if you ever look at the rankings, if you do one round of Coliseum, your ranking's like 168,000 out of something. That is a lot of players. Now, I could be exaggerating that, but I remember last time I saw there was like 63,000 place. So, either way, that's 63,000 people. If 100 people post, oh, I got EX Soar, that's 100 people out of thousands tens of thousands of people yes it looks good to see all these comments saying it but guys there's a lot of people out there everyone's polling and if like a hundred people post that's a hundred out of tens of thousands it's not good odds but it does seem more generous than anything that we've had previously so this is why I say that we shouldn't be going oh let's save for Sephiroth EX let's save for this let's save for this when we have a banner like this now everyone's talking about Tsum Tsum medals forget about Sephiroth EX Sephiroth EX is most likely going to come with a mercy pull and it's going to be lingering will but I still feel like I'd rather have this HD wisdom form soar over lingering will but everyone keeps throwing in this Tsum Tsum medals Tsum Tsum medals Tsum Tsum medals now guys the only thing good about Tsum Tsum medals is one they're super effective to everybody and they also have a general defense down that is a very, very powerful combo because you can potentially make a Keyblade setup with just them as attackers. But again, their multiplier isn't anything crazy good. But that general defense down doesn't mean you have to go chasing negative 60 aerial or ground traits if you want to compete in top 10,000 Coliseum. Anything higher and trying to compete in top 1,000, top 100, they might not cut it, but they're still very good for that. In my opinion though, all the normal ones besides Sora and Riku, I again would recommend this banner right here for HD Wisdom Form Sora because one, it's a guaranteed in five pulls or less. Well, not or less, but you could get lucky and get it in less than five pulls. Don't forget, if you get it before five pulls, don't pull again because the mercy count resets. So if you pull twice and you got it, do not pull three more times because it's no longer a five pull. It resets. But... Back to Tsum Tsum Medals. Tsum Tsum Medals are only for one tier for one turn. And if you want to use a copycat medal, you're only getting two tiers for one medal. Whereas HD Wisdom Form Sora, again, you copy it, that's four tiers of general defense down. These medals do not have to be guilted. It's just the utility. Utility in this game is key into passing so many quests. So, in my opinion, if they did come with a Tsum Tsum banner, the only way that that Tsum Tsum banner would be good is one, that the Riku and Sora is a Mercy Pull 5. If that Riku and Sora, Sora is not a Mercy Pull 5, then I would not recommend it to anybody. Now, that's anybody who's free to play or only buys VIP. Everybody who spends money on the game, you guys know you're already chasing something if you really, really want it. But for everybody else who only has a limited amount of jewels, I would say, again, this is the best banner at the moment for Coliseum and future high tier enemies, high level defense. 
General Defense Down is the best one to go for as you increase enemy level. And let's say Tsum Tsum Medals do come out, which I don't think they're going to come out. They might, but last time we had an equal banner, um, JP got World Final Fantasy Medals, we got World Final Fantasy Medals. They got Tsum Tsum Medals, we didn't get Tsum Tsum Medals, so they could be a JP exclusive. And that is the thing, guys. They could be a JP exclusive because I feel like they would have done it already. If anything, another month or two, if they don't do in the next two months, we possibly never see Tsum Tsum Medals. Now... Talking about the World Final Fantasy banner, I'm pretty much done with all that. Um, saving up for something that's not here yet and we do not know how they're going to deal with that banner is usually not a good idea. And then when we see something that's guaranteed and really good right in front of us, I would always highly recommend that over saving for something in the future. Especially when we know this medal's good. But let's talk about World Final Fantasy medals. There it is. Okay. So, World Final Fantasy Sword got a buff, a hidden buff. It's super powerful to all attributes which is very very nice now that's not the buff that's not what they change i'm just going to compare this to the kr10 we're getting right now kr10 technically is a better metal because you can guilt it and trade it if you have the money if you don't have the money then you don't have a choice but in my opinion world final fantasy sword is a better metal i know it's a tier 4 but its multiplier is a 3.68 and a 3.68 at uh, tier 4 guilt, let's say we max guilt him. I'm trying to buy time while I punch this into my calculator. So that is not his max dots. I believe his max dots are like a 3.9 something. So let's just say it's a 3.90, okay? So 3.90 at max guilt, we are looking at an 8.97 multiplier. And I'm pretty sure it might be a little bit higher than that. Uh, it might be a 4, but either way, guys, its multiplier is really good as a tier 4. But that's not the point of it. The point is that World Final Fantasy Sora is super effective to all attributes. Meaning, it doesn't matter if it faces a power, speed, or magic, it will do yellow damage. And yellow damage means the critical damage. Not critical, but it means it's giving super, it's super effective. If you guys play Pokemon, it's super effective. It's super effective. Thunder versus water, all that. You know what I mean. So, he is super effective to all attributes, but they buffed his buff. They buffed his buff. Basically, the old Sora, what it did was one tier for one turn. So, I was completely wrong here. It says, ignores targets attributes. That's normal. Raises strength of all attributes by one tier for one turn. Lowers defense of all attributes by one tier for one turn. That was the old North America version. So, now they have raised that to three turns. So, technically... World of Office of Sora was still worse than Jack and Sally because it was only for one tier, I mean one turn. Now it's three turns, which is basically KR10, but again, this guy is super effective and now raises for three turns. So this is technically my new turtle mode if I'm never good enough to actually go against a level and I have to turtle it and try to survive. But that's really cool. If they come out with the World Final Fantasy banner, Though, again, the only, only way that the World Fantasy Banner would be worth it uh, is if this guy is a Mercy Pull. If he's not a Mercy Pull, then I would not recommend chasing a World Final Fantasy Banner because the other World Final Fantasy Medals are 2.74. If you go look at, I believe I got my Cloud fully guilted. That was a lot of pences there. I got my Cloud fully guilted. World Fantasy Cloud, let's see, there he is. 2.98 multiplier at 100% guilt. We're looking at a 5.97. I hope I got that right. Again, my math is not spot on all the time, but I do get it right sometimes. 5.96. I was off a little bit. So 5.96 multiplier is not up to date to what's going on right now. Because again, if it was a tier 4 or a tier 5, it would be up to date. But it is a tier 3 and a 5.96 is a very average multiplier now when i say average multiplier it does not mean these metals will not help you anybody who pulls and guilt a metal that metal will do damage that metal will help you guys it is guaranteed a guilted metal will help you in a lot of situations now when you get into coliseum you obviously need traits of negative 60 negative 60 or keyblade full of general defense down metals trying to get at least five general defense down or higher to go past the level 200s in tier 14 but to get into tier 14 itself 
you don't need much. I got into tier 14 on my free to play account with two general defense down. That's copying my 0.2 Kyrie. And I'm in tier 14 right now, round five or six on my free to play account. And you guys know what I have in that. So if a World Final Fantasy banner does come out, my hair is everywhere today. If it does come out, they either have to buff these guys to tier fours or tier fives, which is not going to happen. Um, maybe to Sora, World Final Fantasy Sora, but he's still tier four. If these guys were tier four or higher, they would be a lot better. The only thing that shines for these guys, again, is that they're super effective to all attributes, meaning you can put them on any Keyblade slots and any combination, and they will help. You can bring Olympia into every quest because Cloud is super effective to everyone. Well, now we're upgraded. So Frenrir, we can put Cloud on the end of Frenrir, fully buff him, and he can go against Magic, Speed, and Power because he will always change into the opposite attribute and do the most damage. So... Again, if they come out with the World Final Fantasy banner and Sora is not a guaranteed Mercy Pole 5, I wouldn't recommend it compared to what's coming out. But anybody who does pull from it will not hurt their gameplay. It will help, is, but the only thing is it won't help you in Coliseum, which is basically endgame in this kind of format of the way they have this. Everything always resets, high score challenges come. Uh, we get a couple events, Organization 13, but Coliseum is always there for the high tier competition. And it's what a lot of people look forward to, to test their Keyblades out on. So, World Final Fantasy Sora looks a lot better, but unless we can trade him very easily, he's not going to cut it for very high tier stuff. Like Coliseum or enemies with a lot of defense, but... That HD Wisdom Form Sora will change that as well. A lot of your medals that didn't have the capability of making um, like a dent on high tier enemies can now make a dent because you have general defense down by five tiers in three medals. So very, very good. All right, now that we have all that covered on Wisdom Form Sora, Tsum Tsum Medals, and World Final Fantasy, let's go into what's going on right now with Quest. Now I'm not gonna show you my Quest tab, or I am going to show you my quest tab. It shouldn't spoil anything. I can't show you my quest tab. I can. I'm going to do it anyways. So right here, we have quest 647, which quest 645 was the last one. I played one quest just because I had a little bit of time and then I didn't have any more time. So I couldn't, couldn't continue. But quest 645 to 660 is unlocked right now. We got 15 new quests. That means we're two more updates away from the Keyblade I'm really looking forward to, which is Fairy Stars. And Fairy Stars is unlocked on Quest 683. So when this one's over, I'm going to be on Quest 660. When we get another 15 quests, we're going to go to Quest 675. And then the update after that, when we get another 15 quests, we'll be able to unlock Fairy Stars, which I'm looking forward to. So that's happening, but... The thing that's currently on everyone's radar is the Dark Gnaw or Dark Maw. Uh, I forget which one it is. Let me see if I have it pulled up. I probably don't. But Keyblades, let me just check the name real quick. It's Dark Gnaw. Okay. Dark Gnaw is the Keyblade that is right now in proud mode if you're in Quest 325 or higher. You unlock Dark Gnaw on Quest 328, which is is three quests away from the new update. So once you get Dark Knot, you have to upgrade it with that Dark Matter. And Dark Matter comes in every quest by two. So we get two for every quest, and right now we have 25 quests. So if you complete all 25 quests, we'll have 50 Dark Matter, but that's not enough to fully upgrade Dark Knot. The question you guys have to ask yourself, if you're playing proud mode and you're this high and you're like okay i have dark knot i want to fully upgrade it you can do that that's your choice but in my recommendation by this update and next updates let me go to the metal list by this update and the next update of proud mode we're gonna have a hundred dark matter and that's how much it takes to upgrade any of these new proud mode keyblades to level 25 so we need a hundred dark matter to upgrade these keyblades it means we have to get a perfect two mickey heads per quest to get two dark maw we don't have to get the one in the middle because that's just a dark mirror it's nice to get all three but you do have to complete objective one and three most of the cases to get enough dark matter to upgrade dark knot but this is what you guys got to ask yourself you got to organize your medals click on power and reverse because dark knot is a reverse power keyblade 
does your metals look like they're good enough to focus on that right now now these are all the power reverse power metals i have and a lot of them are not guilted a lot of them are not crazy strong the strongest metals i have right now are the newest ones that came out organization members very very powerful sykes b is a very very good reverse metal but to put yourself into a keyblade that only has 10 sp at maxed out you're looking at using skills of only attack boost three or four with sp gauge one or two if you don't do that you're not gonna have enough sp you can possibly get away with using a tyree or another metal that restores your sp but on a very long long fights or long quest you're gonna need some sort of sp restore mixed with sp gauge one or two attack boost to make the dark gnaw a decent keyblade you only have to bring it to plus nine which I would highly recommend if you want to focus on a reverse power metal. But the reason I'm talking about how many Dark Matter there is, is because the next Keyblade to come out is going to be after Dark Knot. It's called Missing Ache. And Missing Ache, in my opinion, when I sort my medals on my gameplay, as you guys can see here, I have a ton of medals that are incredibly good on reverse speed. So when I look at my game, my game, reverse speed is a lot more powerful and the second we get missing ache, I want to be able to upgrade that keyblade like this. As soon as I unlock that keyblade, that keyblade is going straight to level 25 for it doesn't again, it doesn't have to be level 25. You can make both of these keyblades level 10. But at level 10, I believe the SP is only 9 all the way until level 25. Then you get the extra 1 SP. But the extra 1 SP is not going to probably kill us if we can manage stuff properly again with those SP gauge and attack boost. So I'm looking at at least upgrading to level 10. After level 10, if I want to take past level 25, it does go to a 3.2, which is at level 26. And that's why I want Missing Ache over Dark Knot. Because Dark Knot, my reversed uh, power metals are not as strong as my reverse speed metals. So as soon as I get Missing Ache, I want to blast that guy to level 26, which is going to take a new material. I forget the name of new uh, a moon gem. We're gonna need a moon gem, and I believe moon gem is gonna be once a month. We get we might get one moon gem once per month. I forget how it is in JP. If you guys know, leave in the comment section. But at level 25, missing ache has a 3.10 multiplier for reverse speed, and that's EXXL, Zald B, Zigbar, Marluxia B, Dark Riku. Uh, so much metals in this here. You can you guys can see here. There's a ton a ton of good reverse speed medals but i'm an older player so i do have these medals available to me you guys are newer and dark knot might look more attractive but you guys could gotta know that every 25 quests we get to them that means 50 we have to complete 50 quests to get 100 dark matter and we only get 25 per update and the updates take quite a while a month or two sometimes to get the next 25 proud quest so if you Dark Gnaw doesn't look attractive, skip putting Dark Matter into your Dark Gnaw and wait for Missing missing Ache. If Missing Ache doesn't look attractive, there is a magic one, but it's quite far away and you never know you will get in between. But don't waste your Dark Matter right away. Upgrade the Keyblade to level 9. Get that, that 3.00 multiplier on Dark Gnaw if you guys do have good reversed power metals. Because after that... The last multiplier doesn't move from 3.00. So putting your Dark Gnaw at level 9 is good enough in my opinion. If you want to level 25, you're only increasing the second last slot to 2.6 at level 22. Sorry, level 22. It doesn't even have to be level 25, but you're wasting a lot of Dark Matter. So that's up to you guys. That's the three things I want to talk about. Um, Missing Ache will be coming out in Quest 378. So we're currently on Quest 350. We're going to get another update, which is going to put us to quest 375, and then another update. So we're not going to see Missing Ache for another two months to four. Two to four months, we might not see Missing Ache. It could be exactly two months. It could be three months. The maximum is four months, and it's a very, very long time away to wait and not spend Dark Matter on Dark Gnaw. But again, if your power metals do not equal maxing out dark knot then you might as well wait and save some dark matter for missing ache now you only have to save 50 dark matter for missing ache
because when we get missing ache we're gonna get 25 dark matter for completing all those quests if we're capable of it and that way we can upgrade it right away so you can spend some dark matter right now on dark Gnaw, but at least keep 50 dark matter if you want to upgrade your missing ache right away to be in the top of the competition same goes for the moon gem if you don't need your dark Gnaw at level 26 save that moon gem for the missing ache or later 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 on diamond dust which is reverse uh magic so that's the three things i want to talk about in this video i did miss out on a lot of the updates so this video is gonna be quite long hopefully i didn't go over things too many times repeatedly i try to break it down i try to write it down i try to have all my information ready before the video began and i hope i'm helping out you guys still because there is a lot of things happening there's a lot of questions going around and i'm going to try to get every video as soon as possible if i'm late like this then i'll probably just squish it all in there somewhere it's not too squished hopefully but anyways guys that's everything i got for you i hope the past two days have been great for you i'm happy to see all of you again even though i can't actually see you i get to talk to you guys in the comment section in discord or twitter if i ever have the time to so Let's end it here. Hopefully you guys have some recommendations for other players. Mine is not the final thing. It's just the way I like to play. And if you like my advice, then go for it. If you don't, do your own thing. Play the game for yourself in the way that it makes you happy. Because what's the point of playing a game if it's not making you happy, guys? That's all I got for you. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling. And I'll see you in the next one.